With Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, Microsoft tried to produce an OS that was unified across devices, from pro to casual, from desktop to touch. General opinion was that it wasn't entirely successful. Recently though, Microsoft have made the first steps to correct that, and then some, with the announcement of Windows 10. Skipping the Windows 9 name entirely, the Redmond Washington-based firm aims to step into the next generation of computing with the right foot forward. Here's what to expect from the new OS in 2015. Microsoft announced that Windows 10 will be free for Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 users for its first year, and that it will support those with free upgrades with security and system updates for the lifetime of those devices. While there's no word on pricing for users still on older OSs, Microsoft has previously confirmed that the two most recent Windows versions will be able to upgrade to Windows 10 directly. Microsoft has developed an entirely new device to showcase the features and capabilities of Windows 10 called the Surface Hub, and it's not small. The device is an 84-inch, 4K touchscreen designed for enterprise users, i.e. meeting rooms, covering everything from web conferencing to whiteboarding and document sharing. The hub also features stylus support similar to the Surface Pro 3 with a pen specifically made for the device. No word on price or release date was given. During its January 21st event, Microsoft played fast and loose with the definition of the word hologram and revealed Windows Holographic and Microsoft HoloLens. A brand new headset and hologram system designed to blow the concept of augmented reality wide open. Every Windows 10 device will support holographic computing APIs, but HoloLens can run completely independent of any other device. Microsoft demonstrated the technology on stage, creating a 3D model using holograms and later 3D printing that exact specification. There was no word on how much it will cost, but Microsoft promised it would be ready for the public launch of Windows 10. That's right, Windows 10 will see the spread of Cortana, Microsoft's Siri and Google Now competitor, into all versions of the new OS, including desktops, laptops and tablets. Featuring PC-specific functions for easier access to files, apps and more, Microsoft demonstrated colloquial queries like show me photos from December, to which Cortana summoned images within that time period immediately. The idea here is to make interacting with a PC easier than before through voice. Microsoft is developing special versions of its key apps, like Office, for Windows 10 phones and tablets under 8 inches. Apps like Word, PowerPoint, Excel and Outlook will look and feel nearly identical to their desktop counterparts, but be optimised for touch and screen size. And through Microsoft's cloud infrastructure, all of your files will be accessible through those devices, highlighted in particular by a brand new Photos app, which aggregates images from both local and cloud storage, eliminating duplicates, sorting and enhancing photos automatically. With two-in-one products like the Surface Pro 3, Windows 10 can easily switch between modes for ease of use. When the device is connected to its keyboard cover, the Surface Pro 3 acts as if it were a laptop, which it technically is. Then as soon as the keyboard is removed, the OS prompts you to activate tablet mode. Doing so changes all of the apps to full screen, makes icons slightly larger, and allows users to access the start screen a la Windows 8, albeit much updated. Project Spartan is a project that consists of a rendering engine and a new browser. It gives you the ability to mark up web pages before sharing them with others and to comment on them at the software level. Once marked, that page is open for sharing through Windows 10's built-in sharing features. Microsoft Virtual Assistant Cortana will be baked into Spartan and pop in with recommendations and help based on your browser behaviour. Every Windows 10 device will have the Xbox app preloaded, which collates all games played on any Xbox or Windows 10 device, a universal friends list and an activity feed. Also featured is a DVR tool to record game sessions and share them, cross-platform multiplayer gaming between a Windows 10 PC and Xbox One, game streaming from Xbox One to any Windows 10 device over Wi-Fi, and DirectX 12. What are you most looking forward to about Windows 10? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech news, reviews and features.